Okay, got the metal splice in and the fence is pretty much perfect all the way around. I'm going to walk up the road here. I don't think there's anything left to do here. This wire just has to be pulled out of here, but the girls are going to do that. Otherwise the horses will get it tangled in their legs and stuff. And they're working on it up there, but I think they're done. We'll see if we can get this electrified. A little bit later this spring, we have to go around the pasture back there and make sure that fence is good as well. Same thing with the south pasture that we put in last year. That one has T-posts all the way around, but stuff falls on the wires all the time from the winter. So I gotta go around and make sure that that hasn't happened. Okay, I'm back up at the shed. I just got my tools put away. I would like to turn the fence on, but I'm not sure what the girls did. They're not here right now. So I'm gonna go get Natalie and we'll grab the tester, turn it on and see what we get. I'm over here by where I throw the ball for Izzy. The ravine goes right through there and there's all kinds of waterfalls and stuff right in that area. And when you have a really warm day, when you got a lot of snow on the ground like this, a lot of times the melt, it's just insane down there, but I can't hear anything. I'll have to check back a little bit later. It's probably 1230 right now. Yep, exactly 1230. I'll check back at about 2 o'clock, and if we have some running water down there, I'll take you down there and show it to you. All right, we are going to test the fence as soon as Cindy gets her boots and stuff on. But she said to just turn it on for now. And we may get to see Frankie test it. She just puts her nose on it, which is not the way... An adult horse tests a fence. They still have ice in here from the melt that got through the door a couple days ago. It seems to have quit though. Not too bad. Horse poo from them guys escaping last night. Yeah, they couldn't wait one more day. We had planned on doing this because it was going to be so nice today. And apparently they ran out of food in their feeder. And they've been laying on all this hay. They completely busted that hay bale apart and have been using it for a bed. So they got anxious and I don't know where they got out. Over there somewhere, I guess. Hello, naughty horses. If the fence is shorting somewhere, you can usually hear it click from a good ways away, unless it's shorting in a whole bunch of places and it's really weak. But if it's not shorting anywhere along the way and there's like a single short over there, sometimes you'll be able to see a little spark, but it will definitely make a loud tick. All right, we'll see if these guys go test the fence. They're not going to really care about it right now because they got a bunch of food right there. But as soon as the food runs out and they want some more, they'll all go stand over there and they'll test it with their whiskers. She doesn't have a whole lot, but if you get up close, you can really see they got long whiskers on their chin and they rub it right on the fence and they can tell if it's hot or not. Yeah, Frankie might not have the whiskers like that. Maybe that's why she tests it by pushing her chin up against it. And that's going to shock the heck out of her. All right, we are going to test the fence now with a tester. So we'll let you know what the results are. How many volts is this supposed to be? 6,000 volts. No, nope, seven. 7,000 volts at a milliamp. If that was at a single amp, that would, that would kill you right away, but very very low amperage all right just putting the ground in i don't know if we'll be able to see it on camera i don't see it at all touch it i don't feel it 
feel anything. All right, we're gonna have to test it somewhere else, but this should be a continuous, unless you got a problem in here somewhere, it should be, I mean, it went all the way around and it's not touching anything. Might be something wrong in this area here. Yeah, you can always test it back where the wire goes and touch it, first touches the wire there. And if it's hot there, then you got to kind of trace it out and find out where it's not connected or something. All right, she can hear it ticking at this knot. So it's hot right here, but we got to find out that might not be getting a good enough ground by just sticking it in the snow. We have some some thawed manure over here to test it with. All right, it appears as though we're having a problem with the tester. So uh, I can touch it because I got gloves and rubber shoes. And in some places, I mean, it was really, it was huge. You could see it. Yeah, it's definitely got a ton of juice here. We found, we have this jumper, which is, it's a wire going into an extension cord and the extension cord goes around this run in and that's not connected on the other side. But that only controls that little piece of fence right there and this little horse right here was putting her nose on on the gate right there just now and if it was connected she would have got zapped big time so I don't know we're gonna have to try the other tester we need to see if it's hot over here they're not gonna try to escape back here this is where they're gonna try to escape and it has to go all the way around to get to there there's plenty of juice. Um, I, this is either a five or a 10 mile uh, charger. So planting a juice and it should be getting to there. So we'll try the other tester. She is really curious, but she's still kind of young and doesn't like to be touched. You know you want to come by me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so we'll try the other tester and that's really all we can do. Get out of my pocket. Stop it. Back off. just came over here to test the fence and a possum came out from right here. We were just back here a second ago. I went and got a different tester. Fat little possum. Whoa! All right. Yeah, I'm up to my knees. Let's see if I can get down here. We were getting a little bit of ticking right over there, but we're not getting anything by the front gate. I'm going to test it right here, and it should be good all the way around. I don't know what would be wrong with it. Okay, we got our little voltage tester here, voltage sensor. And I know it's hot right here. So I got way back here. That's like 10 feet away before it shut up. It's just going crazy all along here. So let's try it in another spot.
I don't know if I can get far enough away. Oh, there it goes. Less voltage right where the where the power comes in. Okay, I have to walk all the way around this, so this is going to take a while. Let's get at it. There is your problem right there. It looks like, let me shut this off. It looks like this splice is just held on to the nylon part of this and there's no metal going through here. This is it. Absolutely nothing's going on this side. So I got to go up, turn the fence off, grab some tools, get back down here, get this fixed, go back up, turn the fence back on, and then come back down and test it again. I am going to be exhausted. This snow is really deep and crunchy, and I have these massive boots on. So... I'll get back with you when I get the tools and get back down here again. He just ran over there and she's sniffing that possum. The possum is probably playing possum. That's Natalie's friend right there. Possums have a disease in their poop that can kill horses. I think that possum is just fine. That's a possum we've seen come out of the pile a little earlier. Frankie, leave that alone. Oh, all the other horses are coming now. Izzy, you stay away from them horses. Izzy, let's go this way. All right, looks like we got problems here. Mark, come on, get. Oh, here comes Windsor. Ah, <sighs> we could have some problems here. Izzy got kicked by Frankie because she nipped at their heels and she thinks she's tougher than these horses. Yeah, I know, honey pup. Get, Frankie, get out of here. Get! Damn it! I have to get this dog out of here. You stop it. Izzy, go! Get! Go! Izzy, go! All right. I gotta get her out of here. Get! Get out of here! Get going! It's hard to tell if that possum is alive or not. It was alive a little while ago, unless one of the horses kicked it. Get out of here! All right, I have to deal with these horses and possibly that possum. Izzy, get out of here! Yeah, I think I, yep, the possum's moving. It's definitely alive, it was playing possum. Ah. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna go fix this wire. I should get rid of that possum too. We absolutely don't want possums around here. We're gonna end up with a dead horse, but I gotta get this fixed.
Which one was it? There it is. Okay, I gotta cut this one out and then I'm gonna clamp the wires together with this clamp and then get this little clamp on there and hopefully do that before this possum starts coming this way. You can see he's standing up now, but he's afraid of all the horses and he really can't go back that way. Ah, what a situation. All right, let's get this fixed. The horses are all messing with that possum now. Not a lot I can do. I finally got this thing clamped and now I can put my splice on there. It's turning out to be quite the day. Okay, let's do this. Okay. The fence is fixed right here. Now what I need to do is get over by the fence over there, see if it's making its way all the way around. And if it is, my job is done here, finally. It's already getting late in the afternoon. I've been working on this all day. I think I will come back and put another turnbuckle on right here though. So I guess my job won't be completely done. Oh, this is a pain. What are you guys doing with this possum, huh? You big galoot. I saw you there rolling on the ground, Mr. Mark. Yeah, they certainly do look dead, except for the breathing part. But he is definitely not dead. All right, we're gonna go check the fence. Hi, Big Blue. You're a beautiful girl. Yeah, I know, naughty possum. Okay, I had to rush over here uh, Frankie knocked over my bucket and pulled the snips out of there. She wanted to see what they tasted like. All right, we found that we have another malfunction right here. Not sure if you can hear that. It's a little windier up here. Yeah, much weaker up here. but there is nothing on this side. So what I gotta do, we're turning the fence off. I'm gonna go put an insulator on that tree like I said I was gonna do, and then we'll turn the fence on. This has to be jumpered. This is not working. There's, there's no electricity getting from this side to this side. So we gotta get this jumpered. And then I got to see where along this line that it's weak. It might have another uh, bad joint somewhere. It looks like it had a jumper here. Is the fence off? Yeah. It looks like it had a jumper here, or maybe that was just tying stuff together. But we're going to have to jump from here to here with copper instead of just this. Oh, leave the hey, hey. The two young girls. Hey, hey, my bucket. That's my bucket. That's a tester. Doesn't work on horses. All right. There it goes. Ha! 
All right, this is about three feet away. All right, so we got it blinking up to about three feet away. I'm just gonna walk the entire thing and that's probably, we had like 10 feet up there and three feet here and up by that gate, it was a lot less, but we'll just see if we have any more bad splices in here and we're gonna have to call it a day. This video is getting really long. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to split this video into two. It's getting way too long. All right, let's grab our bucket and go test. Down at this little ravine down here. And I'm about three feet away. Yep, still about the same. All right, I'll check back with you down that way a little bit. This is the splice I made earlier today. And it's working a good three feet away from that. So everything is good so far. The corner's right there, and then we're gonna go back uphill to the road. So, so far so good. Got a big knot here. We'll check it after that. About three feet still. That's after the knot. Good three feet. All right. It seems like we're going to be good to go all the way up to the fence up there. I'm wondering why it's so weak way down there. All right, I'll get back with you up that way more. All right, that's my last splice. Not sure if you could see the light or not. Yeah, I'm at least four feet out. But again, that's probably because I'm in a corner. All right, let's try right after this knot. Still working fine. Okay, I'm gonna work my way all the way up to the gate and I will get back to you if I find a bad spot. We have a little bit of a short right here. We're nearly to the fence there. She's shutting off the power. I'm gonna see if I can tighten this up a bit. It's on crooked. It's not ticking anymore, so it quit shorting. All right, I would say that's about two feet. It looks like we got another, another splice there. Yeah, it gets awful weak by the time it gets up here. And we have a jumper going around the back of that that I told you about before. We need to reconnect that. Get some, get some big juice up by there. All right, right about two feet. Okay, ain't gonna get any better than that.
Thought I heard a little ticking, but guess not. Oh, that's up here. I did hear ticking. Big time. Okay, we got about two feet out here, but this is sharding really bad. Should be able to see sparks somewhere. Probably gonna have to rewrap this with uh, copper. Yeah, that's just really bad. Okay, but all right, that's probably closer to 18 inches right there. And about two feet on this side. So we're losing a lot of juice right here. I'll have to shut that down and put a copper jumper on there and wrap it really tight and see see if that helps. Yeah, can't have that. All right, well, let's do that. No. Bucket's still off limits. She's turning the fence on. Back off. Look what you did. Knock it off. Ah, it's still going to do it. All right. The way this should be is this gate should be just connected right over to this rope instead of having them both like that and then a jumper. But I believe this is going to work for tonight. It's getting kind of late. Let me find my tester. Yeah, still about 18 inches. What we'll have to do is take one of the metal splices and use a piece of rope here that's long enough to go to this side and then connect it back here and then put it through these loops so it doesn't droop down and then go over to there then it should be fine uh, maybe i can do that tonight shut it back off so what we need is one just like this it'll transfer the electricity through the post instead of the one that's on here. This is just a, a regular insulator. So once we get that, we'll put that on right here, but it's working really well right now. So no rush on that. I'm looking for that possum down here. And Cindy said it was heading back up this way. The last she saw, the last I saw it, it was out in the middle of the field right here. They're awful slow. Don't see it anywhere. Hello, Mr. Mark. Where's your possum friend? They are definitely not friends to horses. I'll have to find out what that disease is and put it on screen. But Cindy was explaining it earlier. I don't know if you heard. But a bird poops out something and a possum eats it or something like that. And then they poop it out and... The horses ingest it, and it's deadly to them. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere in here.
Don't see it anywhere. They don't move very fast. You'd think you'd still be able to see it somewhere. And he was right in here when I started doing this stuff, so it's not here now. Okay. Ah, there he is right there. Slowly walking away, making his escape. Probably going to play possum again. That's a pretty young one. They get huge. You need to get out of here. You're an ugly little beast. This fence is hot as I'll get out right now. I can get under right here. Get a teeth on that. Yeah, you're vicious. Well, I'm gonna leave him alone. Well, took all day, but job well done. The fence is super hot right now, so I don't think the horses are going to be escaping anytime soon. So if you want to see more fencing stuff, a little bit later this summer, as soon as the ground thaws out, we're going to be putting T-posts in and fencing this whole thing correctly. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.